Hello lovely people, welcome to another book chat brought to you by the little furry muse um, who's looking entirely enthralled with the whole process um, I think she's just happy I've sat down so that she can grab a warm lap from it or so um, Anything to say Lana? Any literary criticisms to offer up? No? No, no, that's a no <laughs> Yeah, that was a human stop actually, more than anything else <laughs> Okay, so Hello, I um, hope everything's going really well with everyone and today uh, I wanted to talk about a fantastic book which is by a lovely writer friend of mine and I have actually already done a bit of a possibly overly fangirly um, video regarding the first two of her novellas I read which was um, The Lonely Crow and Rosie Waking and they're actually fairy tale retellings which was a kind of new territory for me I hadn't really read any of those unless you sort of count Roald Dahl um, but certainly not any adult ones and what I absolutely adore about them is that she creates this um, Winter Reed is the name of the author and she creates an incredible atmosphere she writes absolutely beautifully it's the sort of writing where you find yourself stopping and going back to reread a passage because it's just so beautiful and it's, it's stuck in your head and the use of words is just it's gorgeous you know, so she's a very skillful writer um, and her her protagonist as well her princesses I suppose since they're um, since it, it is a fairy tale retelling uh, they're definitely not princesses um, yeah and there's no sort of you know pumpkins turning into coaches or anything like that um, it's very firmly grounded in, in the real world but there is a sense of magic that runs through a lot of the stories as well um, and these protagonists, her, her princesses, are wonderfully human. Um, they're flawed, they're not perfect, and often it's their flaws that give them strength, and that's really, that makes for really good reading. Um, so I love them. I've actually, I have to confess, that I haven't actually read the fourth one in here yet. So there are four novellas in Tales of Love and Woe, the complete first volume, which makes me really, really happy because that means there's got to be a proper volume two, right? maybe more I would read more I would definitely read more <laughs> um, but there it is <coughs> excuse me beautiful cover as well and the four novellas in here are The Lonely Crow Goose Rosie Waking and Deregia's Laundry and I haven't actually read Deregia's Laundry yet um, because as always I grabbed the book as soon as I possibly could as soon as it was out but I just haven't had a chance to sit down and read that fourth one yet but I can't wait because I have loved the other three um, I would say Goose is probably my favorite because I just adored the main character she was absolutely fantastic um, and yeah so if you're looking for something a little bit different um, there is yeah there is romance in it um, I I'm not even sure how I'd actually classify these. There, there's fantasy, there's magic, there's romance. It's very firmly placed in this modern world. And to me, what it's really about is the strength and resilience and I guess the magic as well of, of just the feminine spirit. And that's beautiful. It's lovely reading something that is such a celebration of that, of the strength of woman. Um, so yes, I have adored these so far. I can't wait to read the fourth one. I can't wait until Tales of Love and Woe volume three, four, five, as many as you're going to write, <laughs> come out. So, when to read, congratulations on publication day. This is an absolutely beautiful book. Um, I will pop some links below so you can go and check her out on social media and also on Amazon. And yes, pick up this book. It is gorgeous. And I shall show you, even Layla agrees. Don't you, Layla? Yeah, that is her agreeing face. That is her highly enthusiastic and very, very happy face, as you can tell. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. So, my question for you today is what is the most recent book that you bought that just kind of blew you away? Um, what made you sort of stop and go back and look at how it was written, or to look at the ideas, or to look at the plot? Something that really, yeah, that, that struck you. Because I, I find with a lot of books, I sort of keep pattering through them and they're great. Um, but every now and then, like when I first, the first one of um, Winters that I read was actually The Lonely Crow. And I, I was just stunned by it. I, I just, I was like, right, I need more of these. I need more of these right now. <laughs> so I would love to hear what was the most recent book that did that to you. And um, then I can add more to my very painfully overloaded TBR. Fantastic. All right. Have a lovely time. Layla says bye as well. And we'll speak to you soon. Bye. Bye, Layla.